Hey guys, Tichu22 here, and welcome to our main event of tonight's show here in Philadelphia. And I have to say, it, it felt so good to beat the crap out of Kofi Kingston. I mean, I told you, and I told him, that I was going to give him more than what he gave me. And it, it, it felt good, honestly, but uh, enough about me and enough about him. Uh, this next match is... For the best way I can put it is, this is Jeopardy! No, actually it's War Games. Yeah, we have ourselves a War Games match inside inside of an elimination chamber. Uh, here's how it's here, here's how it's gonna go down. It's basically two teams of three going at each other, and uh, basically it starts with two men, but. Every couple of seconds, another man from either team joins in the fight, and once all six men have entered, uh, the fight continues until one team is been, has been completely eliminated, and uh, an elimination can occur at any time during the match. So, uh, as far as how this match came to be, well, it has a lot to do with Santino Morella. The thing is... Uh, late last season, uh, the Ascension, back when they, uh, you know, the three members of the Ascension, uh, back when they were a part of the former Republic, uh, they attacked Santino Morella, and Santino didn't take too kindly to that. And he challenged the then Republic, you know, to a series of matches, and uh, to this point, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Ascension as they are now known, are up two matches to one against Morella. So for Morella, this is his chance to even the series or to or for the Ascension to end it for good. And this time around, Morella has brought his tag team partner, Zack Ryder, and their friend, R-Truth, to even the odds. But even so... Uh, Morella and his friends are going up against three of the toughest men this business has to offer. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty tough myself, but, uh, but those guys are tough as hell, I'm telling you, because, yeah, I mean, I was able to outlast ten, uh, in that Elimination Chamber match at WrestleMania, but against Derpenzano, I mean, Derpenzano got lucky, and he just had my number at the time, but... Yeah, Derpenzano, 10, and Lundquist, or NHL for short, uh, those guys are going to take on Morella and his friends. So with that in mind, here we go. All right, now I am. Well, it looks like it's going to be 10 and Zack Ryder. So, I mean, Zack, I mean, he's a great athlete, but 10 is one tough son of a bitch. I mean, I can tell you from experience because, you know, I've beaten him, but he, he, he beat me last time I fought him in a one-on-one -on -one match. I mean, he just beat the crap out of me last season. And I don't, and I expect nothing less from him uh, against Zack Ryder. And Zack Ryder counters with a crucifix on 10. And a whip into the corner goes 10. And a float over neck breaker on to 10. So 10 better take him seriously, otherwise uh, this match could be over. And an arm bar right to Zack Ryder. And Zack Ryder, uh, we'll see if he can get out of it, but who's up now? Oh no, it's Lundquist. It's Ten's partner, and Zack Ryder's going to be in a two-on-one disadvantage, or should I say, the Ascension is now on the power play. And right now, Lundquist is wearing, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's a Pittsburgh Penguins jersey. And how apropos, I mean, we are in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which, 
You know, the Flyers fans really hate the Penguins, I'm telling you. If you know hockey, you know that the Flyers don't like the Penguins, and the same can be said in turn. Uh-oh, now what are they going to do here? A double gut buster onto Zack Ryder. Zack fighting back, but he's outnumbered. But we'll see if anybody can help him right here, right now. Who's up now? Oh, no. This could not have gone in the favor of the Ascension any better than a three-on-one power play. I mean, these guys can do whatever they want. I mean, it's three-on-one, and... Oh, and <laughs> Ten was going to go for the cover, but Durbanzano decided to break it up. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe that was an accident, I guess, but... Right now, NHL has Zack Ryder throws him into the corner. And a couple of clubbing blows right to Zack Ryder. I mean, Zack Ryder's getting killed in there. Ooh, and a knee stomp right to Zack Ryder. I mean, Zack is getting killed. But, but now he should definitely get some help, but it's not going to be much. Wait. No, a kick out by Zack Ryder. And it's going to be our truth. Our truth. We'll see what he's going to do. I'm not sure what uh I'm not sure what uh anyway, our truth now going after Derpenzano. Now going to try to even the score. But just as I say that, uh, Derpenzano, yeah, look at this. He's getting jiggy with it. On our truth of all people. And he just knocked him down for a loop. I mean, it was Santino Morella that requested this match. But it's Zack Ryder and our truth that, that are paying the price right here, right now. I mean, Zack Ryder has already been busted open. And here comes Santino Morella himself. And uh, our truth got sent over the top rope. A spinning neckbreaker onto Derpenzano. And let's see. Uh, I mean, there's so much action right now, but it's Zack Ryder who's in the most trouble. I mean, he's been busted open. Whipped into the corner goes uh, Morella and a shoulder tackle by 10. And a pinfall cover. No... I'm surprised uh, Zack Ryder kicked out of that. I, I would have thought he'd be uh, down for the count, but he's not. A backbreaker onto our truth. Crossroads onto uh, Santino Morella. A little page from Cody Rhodes' book. And now, wait a minute, a backbreaker onto uh, Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder is in trouble here. And Ten just choked, just taking the breath out of uh, Zack Ryder, and Zack Ryder has no choice but to tap out, especially with all that blood he lost. So now we're, uh, so now it's a three on two power play advantage for the Ascension. A back suplex on to Derpenzano. And a, what the hell? I was going to say, what the hell happened to 10? A face buster. A backstabber on to Morella. Angles. What? He just did the angle slam. And yet, R Truth didn't. Uh, I'm surprised R Truth got up rather quickly, but. 
a hip drop onto uh, Derpenzano. And R Truth got sent over the top rope again. And what's Ten doing? Whoa, wow, that was a risky move by Ten, and he actually delivered it right to uh, R Truth. Meanwhile, uh, Derpenzano giving Santino Morella the business. One, no, kick out by both R Truth and Morella. Belly to belly suplex on a Morella. A jawbreaker to 10. A Boston Crab right to uh, Santino Morella. And that submission attempt by. Wait a minute. Yeah, Santino just tapped out. And now it's our truth that's going to pay the ultimate price. And the and the Ascension is more than happy to do it. I mean, our truth is not going to shy away from a fight, but uh, th this is a losing proposition right here. And let's see if uh, if Ten is going to make a second opponent submit to the bear hug, and he does. So the winners, or the winner, the winning team, I should say, is the Ascension. Yeah, I, I tell you one thing, they dominated this matchup, if mainly because of the luck of the draw, because really, at one point, it was three-on-one against Zack Ryder, and they took out Zack Ryder, then they took out Morella, and then it was only a matter of time before they took out R-Truth. So, for R-Truth, he just got got. You know, because usually it's R-Truth that says, you're going to get got. Well, unfortunately, R-Truth was the one that got got. Uh, if that even makes sense. But, uh, that's going to end our show for here for SmackDown here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Much to the chagrin of Flyer fans who have to look at NHL with his Pittsburgh Penguins jersey. But until next time, this is DeJu22 signing off. Have a good day, everybody.